episode. Call it an episode, it's more like a golden nugget of information. So, came to that point where I had to do a fresh install of my Windows device. And normally I use uh, scripted methods to speed up the installation. I just want to be able to get all my developer tools up and running as soon as possible so I can start integrating with Azure and those kind of things right and start deploying infrastructure. So normally I would use something like Chocolatey, but over the past couple of years we've got something called Winget, right? Which is an application tool that's built into Windows 10, I believe, if you've got a certain update, and it's built into Windows 11. So just to specify, I do have I do a run, I do a winver. I'm currently testing on this version of Windows, so I've obviously got the latest build. So I've got Windows 11 installed, and I'm using version 23H2, right? So it's pretty up to date. So I know Winget is installed. Now, there is a couple of caveats when you first install. If you head over to the official documentation, you'll find out that we've got some things that you need to look out for. So what is Winget? So Win, it's a Windows package manager, right? So it's a command line tool and it's available on Windows 11 and modern versions of Windows 10, as I said, right? So it says here, the Winget command line tool is only supported by Windows 10 1709 or later at this time. The Winget tool will not be available until you've logged in as a Windows user for the first time. So you need to trigger some events. So we need to trigger the Microsoft Store to register the Windows package manager as part of the asynchronous process. If you've recently logged in as a user for the first time and find that Winget is not yet available, you can open the PowerShell and enter the following command to request the Winget registration. So, for my understanding is it uses the Microsoft Store to install the applications, but then we can, we can do it via the command line. So, as you can see here, this, this page will get you up and running on where to get started. Let's head over to the next stage of the video to see where I generate some scripts and install some applications. This drastically reduces my deployment time, meaning I can get to work faster. So let's head over and start installing some packages using the inbuilt application manager Winget. So there's a couple of websites I want you to check out. We've got winget.run, which is basically a public registry for, which hosts all the Winget packages. So you can go there by going to winget.run. Let's just do some examples here to see what's on offer. So there's VS Code. If you can get the syntax right, maybe if you type in Visual Studio Code. Or well, there's Adobe Reader, for example. And then there's the mighty PowerShell. But there was another website I wanted you to check out made things slightly easier when generating scripts. So I want you to head over to winstall.app. I found this site really, really, really useful in that it helps you generate scripts for your Winget packages. So when you get to the website, you're presented with this main screen. There's popular apps like Visual Studio, Google Chrome, but then there's also things like feature packs. So packs are collections of apps with already pre-generated scripts. So as you can see here, we've got everything from working from home to web browsers, to essential tools, entertainment, gaming, developers, social media, and school. And they, can, they can be a great start for people that don't know where to start. But um, let's go over to something that I made earlier. So I've already started putting together some basic apps in my scripts, but let's add some additional. So I'm gonna add Slack to my installation script do that by typing in slack and click on the plus icon and then let's add discord as well perfect and if we see at the bottom of the screen there is a pink slash purple banner and it says selected 11 apps so far so if we click on generate script as you can see here that it's generated a batch script right to help me install all my applications at once. Well, we're gonna be using PowerShell, so we're gonna click on PowerShell. As you can see here, I'm gonna copy the code to, to enter into my PowerShell script. 
or my PowerShell prompt, should I say. Just bring up the terminal. See, I've got PowerShell 7 installed. I'm going to paste this code in. And I'm going to hit enter. As you can see here, we've started to install Visual Studio Code. And this will be done via a silent slash unattended installation. This is where I find it really powerful. So now we're going to fast forward the video and I'll see you at the end. As we can see here that my multiple applications have installed. They've successfully completed, we've got Discord, we've got Slack, we've got Adobe Reader, so we've got the SQL uh, data management in there. But let's just see, let's just verify to see if our applications have installed properly. So I'm gonna bring up the start menu, and look for VS Code, and click on Visual Studio Code. And as we can see here, the application has been installed. I was able to install multiple applications by generating a script using the Winget Application Manager, which makes things faster and more streamlined to install and st install on applications. Well, I hope you found this session useful. I'm all about trying to automate mundane tasks as much as possible, right? So go and check out Winget. I think it's a very powerful application installation tool get you up and running as quickly as possible. If you like the episode, don't forget to like and subscribe, and also ask questions in the comments section. This is the first of many sessions to come. Thanks again, and I'll catch you soon.